So you're considering a move to the Ventura County area, but first you want to get your research done and you want to see what you're getting ready to step into. And let me tell you, you are in the right spot. Welcome to the channel or welcome back if this is not your first time. My name is Nick Bowen. I'm your Ventura County real estate agent. If you'd like to be amongst the first to know what's going on in the Ventura County real estate market, as well as what Ventura has to offer, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that little bell icon next to that. That's going to get you notified each and every time I drop a new video for you. You. Today, we are going to do things a little different. I want to take you on a field trip. It's a rainy day in Ventura, something that we don't see that often, but I want to take you to one of my all time favorite neighborhoods here. It's a neighborhood that I grew up in in Midtown. I actually lived in three different homes in this neighborhood. I've got a ton of fond memories and I know the community there is just absolutely amazing, but something special happens in this neighborhood when it rains on one street in particular. And that's what I want to show you guys today. So let's get to it. friends actually that I lived across the street from in this neighborhood so it's just all kinds of good people and there's some beautiful homes over here there's a lot of different opportunity with the homes sorry about that um, there's a lot of opportunity with the homes as well around here you're gonna find a couple of lots that actually have multi-family on it so it's gonna have a home up front it's gonna have a couple ADUs in the back there's a ton of opportunity when it comes to that shorten down that mortgage payment help out with things like that um, but there's a lot of change of that nature coming into the neighborhood here it seems like a lot of people um, doing things like ADUs garage conversions because a lot of these homes here have detached garages so as you can kind of see throughout the neighborhood there are some gorgeous homes people do a great job of taking care of things around here um, there tend to be a lot of families that live here there is an elementary school really close it used to be called Blanche Reynolds that's the elementary school that I went to it's now called Lemon Grove uh, but here we are in front of a home that actually is just about to sell here in the neighborhood this is a three bed two bath it's a little over 1200 square foot it does have that detached two car garage this one's under contract at 950 so there's different options as it comes through the neighborhood here if you're looking for something a little older that might need a little more work you might find it in the seven a lot of the beautiful homes over here going for a million up something that i really enjoyed about the neighborhood here when i was growing up here is just how close everything is it's very centrally located uh, when i was little i used to ride my bike just a couple blocks over to circle k i'd pick up some candy or sodas or whatever it was over there uh, but me and my friends are up there just kind of what we would do we would get together in our van have our little bikes going um, it's definitely something you still see today so I told you all that I've lived in three different homes in this neighborhood growing up we're actually right in front of my dad's old house right now there's a very funny story when it comes to this place something that I remember from being really little um, El Nino came around it was a huge rainstorm similar to what we're seeing today but actually had a ton more rain than what we have today um, we were living in this home here very close to Channel Drive down here. Now, what I wanted to show everybody today is what happens to Channel Drive when it rains, and we actually did not receive enough rain just, in, just yet for it to really show what I wanted it to, but Channel Drive ends up kind of flooding over here. 
what happens is every car that drives down the street starts spraying water left and right. Uh, definitely something to keep in mind if you see any homes on Channel Drive that you might be interested in. Uh, if you park on the street over here, you better expect that car to get sprayed during this rain. So you can kind of see out here right now how this, this middle gets a little drenched. The reason for that is this entire Midtown neighborhood here, each one of these residential streets drops off into Channel Drive here. So whenever it rains, all this rain comes down, it hits Channel, it goes all the way down into the drainage ditch there. Uh, and it can get really, really flooded here. My dad had a mid 90s pickup, a, a Toyota pickup, a little stick shift. He came out here to leave for work one day. Again, this was during El Nino. He got right into the middle of the channel and the water lifted his truck up, flooded it out. He was a little concerned. He started floating towards the large drainage ditch at the end here and he thought it was all over, at least for the truck. But luckily enough, there was a concerned citizen that was just driving around the neighborhood here with a lifted Jeep with a winch on the front. What he was doing, he was towing out all the cars that were flooding out here. So that's the caliber of people that you find in Ventura, people that are willing to help, people that see something like this and know somebody's gonna have a hard time, they end up coming out offering their helping hand, nothing but smiles. So you can see a little bit of pooling right here. Again, we didn't get the torrential downfall that we need to actually make this thing flood out, but at some points, and I'm not joking you when I say this, I have seen people people pulling wakeboarders down this street. Truck, tow line, and a wakeboarder on the back having a blast out here. If you see that green tarp, right beyond that is the big drainage ditch I was talking about that my dad's little Toyota pickup was getting ready to float down. The interesting little thing about this little intersection right here is there are seven homes surrounding this area that are in the flood zone. So if you're looking at something like that, you need to be aware of flood insurance. Now the whole rest of this neighborhood here is outside of that flood zone. So you have no worries when it comes to that. You know what else we actually need to note from this video? It's raining here in Ventura and I'm in a short sleeve shirt. So really, the inclement weather that we get is not too intense. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little field trip we went on today. Again, it's a rainy day. It doesn't rain too often in Ventura. Um, if you're a fan of rain, don't move here, okay? But again, just wanted to take you on a little field trip, show you one of my favorite neighborhoods out here. I wanna thank you guys for sticking with me through this video. If you haven't already, please consider dropping a thumbs up on the video down below. Again, hit that subscribe button, that little bell icon next to that. It'll get you notified each and every time I drop a new video just like this. But hey, if there's anything I can do for you before I see you next week, please remember I always got your back. I'm no more than a phone call, text, or an email away. Thank you guys again for sticking with us through this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you don't forget to smile, and I'll catch you next week, all right? Peace.